Let's return to the breach. Let's go back with, um, Pea Shooter Man. We only have two. Let's save for that, uh, Galaxy Carbine, whatever. Crossbow is pretty bad for most boss fights. Seems like the crossbow just really isn't very good for anything. Like, it takes out a little bit of uh, a couple of dudes, but that's it. There we go. My dodge roll foo is weak. I, yeah? So is most people's probably when they start this game for the first time. Like, the one kind of annoying thing is, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of YouTubers have been given this game, you know, we're given this game really early. I, don't, I really don't know why I wasn't, but whatever. Um, but a lot of YouTubers were given this game early, so a lot of people are expecting, you know, Cobalt out of everybody. And in reality, uh, you're getting Wanderbot, who's been playing this for a grand total of maybe an hour and a half, two hours? It's really hard to tell. It's five of- ah, god damn it! There really needs to be some kind of indicator, or a, ch a noise, when they're spawning in. Because they spawn in silently, directly next to me. And then I just immediately get shot. So if I look away at chat... I mean, it more or less means I, I'm gonna have to start ignoring you when I play this game. Because I'm gonna get shot by stuff. Alright. Oh! So that's how you use it. Blunderbuss shoots anything. So yeah, I've got, uh, I have to, my, my, uh, paperclip is an active. I will keep that in, in mind. Well, let's go back to the pea shooter for the time being. Interesting. Blunderbuss has kind of an intre uh, interesting thing. It's also a charge-up weapon. Okay, there we go. Look at chat after clearing room. But that's the thing. I think I've I've cleared the room. Like, I think I'm done. And then more enemies have spawned in. Like, right here, if I didn't see those those uh, little targets showing up and the fact there's only one enemy at this point, I'm super suspicious, I would have actually assumed that I've already beaten the room. Which I, I realize is quite erroneous, but, uh, still. Okay. I think this is going to be my roguelike nemesis for a while. I don't think I'm going to be beating this game for quite some time. Like Nuclear Throne. Oh yeah, they're very similar. Okay, stay away from that. So we've got... Damn. I was kind of hoping those bullets would just, like, roll through them, but no dice. Okay. The money tiles fly to you. You've cleared the room. It's not always obvious, man. Like, it really is not actually that obvious. Hello, treasure chest with the Molotov in it. Oh, interesting. How do I... How do I switch? How do I, how do I switch those? Okay, I don't want to do a quick restart. Please don't give me that. Options, controls, keyboard bindings. Okay, re reload. Use blank map. Next gun. Next item. Left shift. Gotcha. So now we've got a Molotov and the um, and the thing to open stuff up. Oh, and I can't get into the shop. Why? Is he still angry at me? Okay, let's leave that alone for a second. Oh god. Oh, it's a rubber bullet. That's what it is. I understand now. Okay. It's interesting. So that's why it doesn't do damage. That's actually kind of adorable. It's more of a nuisance uh, in this situation than otherwise. 
Okay. Yeah, there's another entrance to the shop. Yeah, probably. Alright, space. We got it! Alright, what's this one do? Bullet time, dodge this. I think bullet time's probably gonna be better than, um... Than the Molotov. Eh, maybe not. Okay. Enable the activator. Slow down time. That's probably better than the Molotov. It's also new, so we'll go with that one. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. I like the fact that you can have multiple actives at the same time. That's a that's a nice setup. You can only have two, admittedly, but it's still a nice setup. It'd be nice if you could, um, do that in Binding of Isaac, actually, I couldn't think of it. Oh, the pilot's the only one that can have two. Ow, fuck. Oh, that's still a neat feature. I like that for this character. Okay, there we go, we get a little bit of health, and now we get to go into the shop. Perfect! Oh, it's not as useful, because it slows me and my shots to- what? Well, that sucks. So we can get a backpack. I don't know what that does. Item capacity up. And... We're not quite ready to fight the boss yet. We'll come back in a second. So where's the... Chest room? So it might actually let me have three now. Well, worst comes to worst, if that's the case with bullet time, uh... Oh, my Molotov's gone. You son of a bitch. Alright, whatever. Well, you get to think and plan. True. Dirty little weasel. Oh, and... I guess we are done. Back to the shop. Yeah, so let's buy the armor. Okay, and boss is up here. I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take a drink. <sighs> well, I have to say for this game, it's hard, but it feels. Ah, God damn it! I hate fighting this guy. It's hard, but it feels fair. Like I really do appreciate. Oh right, press E to skip. Okay. Well, there goes my armor. Gotta stay away when he's in gun burst mode like that. Let's just get rid of that. that stupid thing is just annoying. Okay. Gotta remember to dodge towards my enemies. Oh, crap. But don't dodge too closely towards your enemies. Otherwise, they just bounce you back, which is super frustrating. Okay. I think I like the other ones a little bit better, honestly. That's okay. You know, I'd love to see a roguelike similar, like, kind of a cross between this and Hyperlight Drifter. I really just like Hyperlight Drifter's dodge system. It feels really good. That's kind of a massive shame that that doesn't exist. Okay, well that's fine. Well, we get our health. We get a credit. We get the Thompson submachine gun. Yeah, see? Oh, that's adorable. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Well, things are looking good. I like that little load screen. Who are you? What is this? Greetings. What can I do for you? Who are you? Ah, uh, just a traveling tinker. Got stuck here a while back. Thought I might fix these elevators to kill some time. Fix? They seem to be working. The elevators only go down one floor at a time right now. But with the right equipment, I might be able to configure these to traverse multiple floors. I'm talking shortcuts here, rogue. How do we get them working? 
I'm not sure yet. Won't be easy though. Whoever engineered this place was crazy. I'm gonna head back to the breach for now. Speak to me there when you get the chance. That's interesting. Okay. Oh god, Tommy gun. Fuck. Well, there are- there goes my armor, right off the bat. I thought I was using the, uh, musket for a second. And that's not the case. I was not, in fact, using the musket, I was using the to Tommy gun. Threw me off, more than a little. Yeah, so when it's just a regular enemy, I'll- I'll use the- I'll use my, like, basic pea shooter. But when it's, you know, a horde of enemies, it seems like a good idea to use my... It seems like a good idea to use my other guns, even if ammo seems to be pretty... rare. Unfortunately for me. Okay, so we've got an Illuminati around the corner, but that should be fine. Because I can fire at him through the... through the corridors. Not have to worry about a thing. There we go. See? Easy peasy. Chicken something or others. Okay, check the elevator hole. What? I feel like I'm full of regret. Oh, there's the elevator. Okay. So it drops me down into that, though I don't think I want to go through the, uh... I don't think I want to keep going down. Hey, Tris. Yeah, that's been a while. Okay, uh, let's go here. We're still largely in the danger zone, but I think we're okay. Okay, that should clear clear the stage well enough for me to fight it the rest of the way. A oh, what? Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that uh, it passed around the corner. I really need to stop reading chat in any way, shape, or form. We've got enough people here that I'm like, yeah, I should probably pay attention to this. Alright. Fuck it. Say hello to my little friend. And also bullets. Unfortunately, if we had the homing bullet thing, we'd be unstoppable. With both guns, honestly. Uh, that's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a sniper. Oh, shit. Multiple snipers. Crap. That's enough sniping for me for one day. But you, but you, there we go. Okay. Oh, this game is uh, risky business. Oh, what is that? What is that? Who are you? Why are you here? What was that? It's just like a dude that came out of nowhere, just like screaming and stuff. Oh, what streaming program do I use? OBS, actually. Okay, so we've got this. Whatever this is. Prime Primer. Can't get. Half heart, void core assault rifle, snowballer. Those all sound pretty awesome. Let's keep going though for the time being. Okay, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. Okay. Oh, fuck. I did not realize that I was in the danger zone there. Okay. I really missed the Molotov. Fuck. I really need to get some HP here. I don't know what these are. They're like some kind of lightning charged, sort of not rubber bullets. I don't know, I don't like them. What's this? Potion of lead skin, I'm invincible. All right, good to know. Well, we found the boss. Ah, uh, that's cool. For better or worse... I failed. Wait. 
Did I break the chest? I broke the chest. Ah, never seen that before. Okay, so apparently my lockpick will preclude against, um... My lockpick will preclude against getting or using... Uh, getting or using keys after the fact, and I'll have to bust the chest open. I like the musket, but it just does not quite have the punch I'm looking for. Like, that's one thing about this game. The enemy, enemy health totals are actually a lot more substantial than I thought it was going to be. Pop, pop! Okay, I'm gonna wait for this one. Drop the table, drop the other table. Screw you, Mr. Ghost Man. Okay, let's switch to something with a little bit more kaboom. There we go. Is that it? That's it. Alright, before I kill myself, let's go to the shopkeeper. <sighs> Shit. Well, I guess we gotta get both of those. Okay. If you break the lock in the chest, you might as well shoot it up. There's a chest to get what's inside of it. Yep, you are correct. Alternatively explodes. Well, that's not friendly. Okay, at least let's keep going. What's this? Great Arbiter. Roll the bones! Cursed and paid. So I'm cursed now. How am I cursed? What's up with me? Backpack, extra space, that. I'm invincible. I don't know how I'm cursed. Motherfuck. Okay. Keep running. Oh, that's good. Okay, there goes the ghost. I assume that red bullet dude is the curse? Or has something to do with it? He is. One tough sucker. Luckily, he's, for the most part, stupid, so we don't have to worry about it that much. Okay, let's reload before we fight anything else. Okay. And then we've got that guy, but he's not really a problem. He's really only dangerous if you've got multiple dudes. Okay. Oh, we got another one of these. Probably should have just let it go boom, honestly. Alright, whatever. The lockpick has not been kind to me. Well, let's see if I can use this shrine here. Do nothing. Altar is empty. Oh, that's fine. Oh, what if it uses one of my guns? Which gun do I not like? Nope. I have no idea how to use the altar. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so we've got probably one room left. Let's go back to the shopkeeper. He hasn't, like, regenerated any of his stock. I could get the Voidcore Assault Rifle, though. That might not be a bad idea. We can also get the Prime Primer. Old Magic. What's that do? Bullet component. Oh. So, I guess if I get uh, the components of the Prime Primer or whatever together, it grants me something cool. Gotcha. Hide behind this. Yeah, unfortunately using cover in this game. Not nearly as effective as I'd like it to be, in certain cases. We're gonna stay away from Captain Lightning Bullet there. Okay, we're good. I think we're almost done. Yeah, it's just a little passageway. Time to go fight the boss, I guess. Yeah, so I've got... Let's use bullet time first, and then we'll do the other one. Oh, hi.
Ammo Conda. That's adorable. I don't know how it shoots. Almost seems random. I'm gonna just shoot him a bunch. I see. So he's got turrets on his back. Makes sense. Oh, it does snake! I can't break that, can I? Ah, shit, there goes my armor. Let's keep going. He's got his little turret buddy in the center. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to the- oh! I kind of can. Okay. Keep running away. We might be able to do this. Empty. Okay. Oh god. I dodged the literal wrong direction here. Oh, bad timing, bad timing, bad timing. Well, we've got... we don't have any more lead bullet either. Or, not lead bullets. Blanks. Oh, he's almost dead. Whew. Let's get ammo for this sucker. Blunderbuss refilled. And hexagon, light fantastic. My heart is pounding. Hmm. <sighs> hexagon is great. Good to know. Okay. Let's see what this sucker does. Oh, God! I see why the hexagon is great. Okay, we should probably use the pea shooter to finish off single enemies if I can. That's a little bit of health. Things are feeling good, so I'm gonna just reload everything. Still out of ammo for all of these. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, this guy is pretty self-explanatory. Luckily, the other guys aren't coming for me. Because they're stuck in that little pedestal thing. Unfortunately, this guy is tough as nails, comparatively. Ah, fuck. Yeah, he did contact damage. He's got, like, a weirdly large hitbox. You're not dead yet. I regret everything. Okay, he's dead. Uh, it's a landmine, isn't it? Well, that sucked. That's a oh, we're not done yet! Why are we not done yet? Okay. Uh, he's so powerful because the top is buffing him. I'm not honestly sure what that means. But, uh, that, that was rough. That was a lot rougher than I thought it was going to be. Okay, well, we've got just basic traps, but honestly, basic traps don't worry me much. Not nearly as much as the in impending death that seems to consume this room. 
as with mo most rooms. Huh. I regret being here. Hexagon is awesome, though. Well, this is neat. Oh, we're not done yet. Well, this seems like a reasonably... Uh, bad idea. <laughs> that was adorable. But that was bad. At least we did fairly well on that run. Like, we got we got a lot farther than I thought I was going to. But, uh, ow. Anybody know how many levels there are? That guy was buffing them all. Oh, the, like, weird... Weird dude was buffing them all. I got it. Well, I think I'm gonna stick with the pilot just because he's pretty effective. Oh, I'm stuck in the catch. Wait. As we as we get further in the game, I notice like our, our little area is getting more advanced. That's actually kinda neat. Well let's go uh let's go talk to the, the one other guy. Uh, let's see. What's this guy say? Oh, you again. Good. Uh looks like some of the elevators connect to this room. I'll set them up here. I need to do work on each floor to get them working though. Meet me in the elevator shaft in chamber room two. Or uh chamber two. Gotcha. There's six chambers. Go freaking figure. Okay. Uh, so we could get, let's get the um, hegemony carbine and the camera ray. So that all that leaves left is the uh, RPG. We're actually almost done with this one. But yeah, of course there'd be six chambers. It's a freaking revolver. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, so I think this is going to be the last run of Gungeon for uh, this afternoon. I'll do more later tonight, but my jaw's starting to hurt. Uh, and I've got one other game, one other new roguelike that came out today that I should probably cover. I don't know if it's going to be uh, good, but I feel like I should cover it anyway. Just because. Yeah, I wish ammo was more common in this one, just so I could use... Um, just so I could actually, like, feel free in using my, my weapons here. Like, I like how Nuclear Throne kind of handles uh, guns and ammo. Maybe a little bit better than this one. Like, the gun, the guns in this probably are more overpowered. But I feel like, um... Damn it, I got stuck in a corner. I feel like I'm mildly punished for uh, using them. Just because I run out and then I'm like, Ah, shit, I needed these later. I guess that's kind of the point of... That's kind of the point of it all, but still. Like, you're supposed to kind of gauge a risk-reward be a pea shooter and whatnot, but still. Okay. Oh. <sighs> yeah, someday we'll be a master of this game, but now, not even close. Oh shit! There's two of them. Oh wait, no. It's not the. It's not that there's two of them. There's other guys in the mix. I think the shaka gun guys kind of explode at random. You know, they don't always. Sometimes they just fall flat on their, their ass. Sometimes they don't. What's the other roguelike called? Uh, Good Robot. I meant to cover it earlier, but I just didn't have the time. I've been busy with Hyperlight Drifter and other things. And I forgot. So when I did have the time, I, I didn't. Let's just scum around him for a second. Yeah, luckily these guys can just be, like, rotated around really easily. Which is nice. Okay. Oh. Well, he was... Not as, uh... That was not a bright grenade. Dumb bunny. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, a good... Gr dumb grenade... Well, I guess, I guess that the, that grenade was a dud. That that yeah, that'd be the perfect pun. A little bit late. Shame I didn't think on my feet, but still. Uh, but uh, and I should have called him a dud. Oh well, hindsight is twenty twenty, and pun pun sight is forever. I, I I don't know, man. It's hard to be it's hard to be humorous when you're like this. I feel like I'm just uh, uh inserting foot in mouth. As my main... Hello, this is like a gas mask? Gas mask, breathe deep. What does that do? 
Okay, Hegemon and Carmine, Gamma Ray, prevents poison damage. That's about as useless as you can get in this current situation, but, you know, I'll take it anyway. I really, really want that crutch again. Oh, shit. Uh, we gotta go back for a second. I just realized I had left a uh, blank on the ground. And hopefully... Dingus Dan doesn't come to, come to get it. Okay, he didn't. Good. Well, let's go continue to check this place out. Are you my mummy? Funny. That episode gave me the willies. Like, to no end. Felt like the ending was a bit of an ass bowl, though. Point the sonic screwdriver at it. Problem solved. Okay, what is it? Oh, shop. Gotcha. Uh, so I don't want the wind-up gum. Little bomber sounds kind of fun, though. And key. Let's pick up the little bomber, see how it, how it does, if it's any good or not. Refuse to lose. It's kind of adorable. How much ammo does it have? 66. Oh, that's the boss. I don't really want to try this gun out on a, uh, straight up on a boss, though. So let's see what kind of nonsense I can get into first. Nothing here, apparently. Shelton, no, we're gonna walk away. It's the god of ammo or whatever. Which is admittedly less than useful. All right now, I am full up. And I don't know what curse does, but I don't wanna I don't wanna run afoul. Okay, it's just the bat. There, there's the little suicide bats. Which are kind of adorable actually. Like, I actually think this is probably one of the more interesting enemies in the game. Damn, I dodged right into it. Well, whatever. We'll be okay. Weeping Angels were creepier. I felt like the Weeping Angels were just overdone. Okay, we get the T-shirt cannon. Hey! We didn't get to use it earlier. Let's see what it does now. It's got a lot of ammo, too. Okay, who are we up against? Ah, the Gun Brothers. Alright. Okay, so that's one of them. Ow, fuck. Okay, let's reload. Keep going. I missed. Alright. Ah, fuck. I'm taking way too much damage against these things. Eat t-shirts, suckers. Okay, yeah, we're probably gonna die here. I, I've kind of pushed my reflexes to the point where I... Well, maybe not reflexes, but still. I don't know how either of those guns necessarily work, but they're not, uh... uh they're not good enough to make me win. That's obvious, nonetheless. Okay, let's take a look at the Ammononicon. I want to see... Guns. T-shirt cannon. There's a lot of guns. I want to take a look at... Refuse to lose. Charge to fire bombs. It's probably really good against, um... Uh, it's probably really good uh, against groups of enemies, but awful against bosses. And, uh, let's see. T-shirt cannon. Fires t-shirts. I really wish it was a little bit more obvious about exactly what it does. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Uh, I think that's it for Gungeon for me for today. My face is starting to hurt. And my everything else is starting to hurt, too. So, let's see. Enemies, bosses. Oh, there's a fair number of them. I like this, though. It's neat, and you can actually read about them. Good bullet, bad bullet. It's adorable.